This is a check guarantee, signed by Mosley. On behalf of a man called Jimmy McCavlin. Check for what? Well, I said it was for the sale of a gin distillery, but it doesn't matter. The direct evidence of a link between Mosley and the head of an organized criminal network. In a relationship he will try to deny after the bonfire of all conventions. It also contains the names of MPs who have signed up to the movement and those MPs who are sympathetic but will not show their hand until the organization is announced officially on the 2nd of January in Grosvenor House. You might want to write some of this down. I'm experiencing resistance from my superior officers too. This isn't intelligence, Younger. This is evidence. Give it to the branch. Special branch. Half of whom spend their lives defending the Union against Fenians, and the other half who spend their lives defending men like Mosley against socialists. I heard about his speech at your house the other night. It was favorably reported as the passionate and spontaneous outpouring of a man moved by the emotions of a ballet. Reported where? Daily Mail, Morning Post, Daily Mirror. It's upper, middle, and working class, all united in admiration. Also, I'm being asked the source of my information on Mosley. Which you don't divulge? No. As a result, my six-monthly review was unfavorable. They're talking about moving me to a black and colored desk in Johannesburg. I also suspect there are specific threats to me personally from an organization called Section D. I believe you've had a dispute with them in the past. Sit down, Hugo. Hey. We are now Section D. And I fucking beat them. You're a soldier. I'm a soldier. There are elements within the state who are prepared to kill. We need to meet them unafraid. Spoken like a true believer. My superiors also ask why the information on Jesse Eden and the communists has apparently dried up. Why has it dried up, Mr. Shelby? Your sister has an interesting theory. She thinks perhaps at last Tommy Shelby has actually started to believe in something. Younger, please don't listen to my sister's opinions of me. They are always hopeful. Therefore, they are always wrong. <laughs>